Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you ever wonder what would happen in an emergency when you read about some of the articles about what happens on a daily inconvenience day? Did you see this in the news? Georgia sheriff calls deputies for help after becoming upset that Burger King got his order wrong. A grown man can't deal with Burger King got his order wrong without calling for backup deputies? Isn't that ridiculous? A Georgia sheriff got so angry when Burger King messed up his order that he called deputies to the store. Cobb County Sheriff Craig Owens, who is up for re-election this year, called his deputies to the Burger King on Veterans Memorial Highway in Mableton to help address his botched order according to body camera footage. Okay, Owen's opponent in the upcoming election is slamming the sheriff's actions as an abuse of his position. And not only is it an abuse of your position, it's ridiculous adult behavior. Three deputies were dispatched to the fast food restaurant with sirens blaring. What on earth is wrong with some of these law enforcement? We want to believe that you're there for us, that you're really helping keep our community safe and you're chasing after actual criminal behavior. The incorrect order at Burger King for three deputies with sirens blaring, that's like one of the funniest, most ridiculous. It seems like it should be something out of a comedic movie and not out of the news from some town in Georgia. The deputies approached Owens in his truck who was parked in the restaurant's parking lot. He was not in his uniform or his sheriff's vehicle. Hey, do me a favor. I need to get, all I need is the owner name of whoever owns this blank facility or the manager. I wanted her, his female passenger, to get a Whopper, no mayo, cut in half, right? He's calling over, he had mayo and it wasn't cut in half. This is toddler behavior, toddler behavior. I don't need no blank money back no more. I just need to find out who owns this place so I can do an official complaint. The deputies without questioning why the sheriff could not ask for the information himself, then approached the restaurant's doors, but the employees had locked themselves inside. Can you imagine, you know, working in places like Burger King, that's normally like teenagers and young people. And if they see somebody out there grumbling and three police cars come roaring up with their sirens on, wouldn't you be scared? Why are they terrorizing these poor people? The employees were eventually convinced to open the doors to let the deputies inside. Nobody is in trouble, we just want to get some names, one deputy told the assistant manager. There isn't even going to be a report written, the deputy said. That guy out there, he's just going to file a complaint for his food. After receiving the name of the manager and the company that owns the Burger King store, the deputies left the restaurant and returned to the sheriff. A deputy informs the sheriff that the employees were afraid because angry customers in the past have escalated to stalking. The sheriff laughs and asks, you didn't tell them who I was, did you? No, I just told him it was the guy out in the truck. Absolutely, this is intimidation and abuse of power. And whatever happened to common sense? And who can't just go ahead, scrape off the mayo, eat half of the burger, tear it in half? What on earth is the matter with people? Do you understand why you need to be prepared? Because for just an inconvenience like this, People go berserk. Can you imagine how people might behave in an actual emergency situation? I mean, a real emergency. This is ridiculous. So uh, that's a great reason to be a prepper so that you don't have to worry about encountering this type of mentality if, say, the power goes out or the water stops running, or you have an actual disaster in your community like a hurricane, or a tornado, or floods. Can you even imagine how berserk actual people can go 
if this is supposedly a law-abiding citizen trying to intimidate young people making burgers at probably minimum wage leave it in the comments below have you ever had to deal with a situation like this and that's why we want to be prepared we want to harden our homes so that if there's an emergency we can shelter in place we can stay at home we can avoid being out when there are many people acting like this we need to be concerned with how we're going to stay safe if the world spins out of control it seems to be happening more and more and we need to be mentally prepared to stay strong and protect ourselves so i hope you'll like my video share it with someone else and please subscribe to the alaska granny channel